So in this video, I am going to run around the whole resort and uh, show where everything is. So we're starting here at the lovely walkway to our bungalow. And as you can see, we then have our steps right down into the lagoon and we can look out from our bungalow to the main island and the lovely beach. So here we go, going for a beautiful walk. I love how most everyone takes the golf cart uh, with a driver instead of walking. So when Grant and I come back from dinner, we have our own private walk in the dark with the, uh, all of these are lights and they even have the kerosene torches. So it's absolutely stunning. So here's where we go each morning. Beautiful palm trees. And it's also really fun to walk because on the side, it's just littered with crabs. So you can just stop for a moment, stare down at the sand, and you realize there's all kinds of little crabs around. The beautiful hibiscus flowers. There we go. Pick up the pace here so the video doesn't last too long. <laughs> so when you come up to here, there's a little fork in the road. I'll show you because we'll come back this way. And there's a lovely bridge over here. So we'll see that in a moment. But this way we'll go. This is where we go to the gym. As you can see right away, every few steps there's a cute little bridge. And this is the inner lagoon. And Gret and I spent a couple hours snorkeling all go right under the bridge and all the way far back and it's just chock full of all kinds of lovely fish and coral come down here off the path so you can see and it's so clear I think this is very cute even though it's our honeymoon and yes it's romantic it's still even despite that and you can see me in the reflection it's very pretty very nice chapel very prayerful you just look at that view <laughs> just lovely so it's about 35 degrees very humid, which of course is fine for me being from the Great Lakes area. And you get these puffs of cloud that come through, but it doesn't last for very long and then it clears off again. And probably every couple of days, a little rain shower. And this is the dry season, so best time to come. And look how perfectly clear it is today because that's several feet of water and yet you can see the fish and the coral just like it's right there on at the surface and when Gret and I were snorkeling there's just no one it's quite amazing really it's probably it's, I mean it's at least half full because we see a lot of people by the pool and when we're having the meals um, but there's just it's uh, quiet enough and big enough that you just feel like you're on your own. And here we go, here's one of the carts. No one on this time, but so I think the funniest thing is when they take the cart here over to the fitness center. <laughs> so here we're coming up to the fitness center. And from here you can see the surf on the Pacific side. Here's the lovely uh, tiara flower. And that's the national flower of the 
French Polynesia and it's a type of gardenia. the surf all kinds of fitness center so we're fascinated by how beautiful it is everywhere so even here I have lovely food for you right away We'll continue to our tour. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> what a problem. <laughs> On va continuer par ici. On a des cocotiers. Greg got down a couple of coconuts and broke them open, so we've been having the freshest possible coconut in our room that you can imagine. area. That's the bridge we would have come across that I showed earlier so you can see how we're making a full circle. Very tropical everywhere. So I was saying hello in the local Tahitian language. One of the many little beach areas. Always busy working, making sure the path is perfectly clean. They even rake the beach. Everything possible to make it luxurious. Here we're coming to the main pool and beach area. water and it's an infinity pool so when you stand in the pool you can look right out into the ocean water. I 
on Monday. And this to show what pure luxury it is. There's this area over here, lovely thatching. You can see, so they have a shower. They have books you can read, towels, water with some nice fruit, and they have sunscreen and aloe vera lotion. So everything possible. If you've forgotten anything, no problem, they have it here. That's where we have breakfast in the morning. They have every imaginable food item. And as you can see, you look out onto the pool and the lagoon. Just past the hammock is where Regret and I had this incredible barbecue dinner on the beach. And even though it was open for other people, it was only the two of us eating at the time. So it was our own private dinner. It was quite fantastic. We also sat here one day, tried to sit somewhere different every day. And we took a kayak and swam out to the little island. This is the sunset bar, but uh, many people come here for a drink. You can also have dinner here and it's an Asian fusion menu. Again, it's called sunset because it's the perfect place to sit along here, look out over the lagoon and watch the sun going down. They even maintain the grass here all well, us North Americans who need to have a beautiful lawn. We have a pearl store and a small shop where you can buy t-shirts and sundresses and hats, but they don't have too many tacky souvenirs, which is very nice. There's the lovely beach front again. This is Afi Moana. Um, another restaurant where we've had dinner, the menu en français, avec de l'influence polynésienne. And uh, we're going here for our last night tonight. And again, we've been very lucky. We've been able to be seated right near the front outside here so that we can enjoy beautiful views. Bridge and the Lagon Paris and there's one of the uh, kayaks and we enjoyed that as well here. Coming up to the reception area. Boards, kayaks. Again, the lovely tiara flower. Reception area. This example of the boat that we came in on and we'll be taking back to the airport tomorrow. And the end of our incredible holiday, but we will certainly be back to the four seasons for 